back in the day, if you said a recording studio had automation capabilities, it meant that they could not only record voice and instruments, they could record movements of the faders and other controls on the console and then play back those movements automatically. This allowed to, for example, duck down the lead vocal any time the singer got too close to the mic or goose the guitar solo up at particular pregnant moments. It's the same in Vegas. Not only can we record in real time movements of faders and other controls, we can also edit what we've recorded. This brings up the concept of envelopes. Using envelopes, we can vary settings over time. So if we want the volume of this particular clip to come down at this particular moment in time, we can do that. A couple of things to note. This button here is the Lock Envelopes to Events button. If you're going to create sophisticated envelopes, you probably want to lock the envelopes to the event so that if you move the event somewhere else, you still have that automation in place. One of the track control buttons is called Automation Settings. If I click that and choose Show Automation Controls, note that here, here, and here, on the track Mute, the Volume, and Pan, I can now automate each of these controls. So, for example, if I click on the Mute tool, I've written this envelope right here so that at this moment in time, this track is muted. If I come over here and unmute, I've effectively created just the type of notch I'm talking about. But I really don't want to mute. Now note that I can adjust these. But that's not really what I want to do. I don't want to mute, but I do want to work with volume. Once I've clicked the Show Automation Settings button, the minute I touch this volume fader, I get an envelope, and a point is written at that moment in time. For example, if I want to duck the volume down right here, I can right-click and add a point. Let's zoom in a little bit. I can right-click and add another point and another point. I have four points. Now, if I drag this down, at that moment in time, the volume will decrease. We can take a look. Watch the fader change. If we're trying to edit one of these points and we miss, look what happens. We accidentally move the waveform. That could be disastrous. So what we do is we click the Envelope Edit tool. We can't accidentally move the waveform itself. Now with any of these controls enabled, anytime I move any of these controls while this video is playing back, Vegas will write the envelope. As you can see, pan, volume, and mute envelopes have been written by Vegas on this track in real time.